there, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a thrift store makeover with this thing I got for not really that much to be honest. This is also meant to be a thing where you hang your keys on at the bottom, so hopefully you can turn it into something that's really nice. I'm just going to wipe off the dust from this key holder frame and once we're done we're giving it a nice white base coat so we don't see bits of the wood peeking through our paints. I am mixing some purple paints together with this dark purple and some white to make it a lighter purple, kind of like a lavender type of colour. I'm just going to add a couple of coats of the lavender paint to the frame. For the handle of the frame, I'm going to be using a darker purple. Taking some purple air dry clay to make little hearts, which will be stuck onto the little bits that you hang your keys on. And now I'm taking some glitter glue to give it kind of like a glittery effect. That kind of went wrong, so I was trying to like make a light pink face to go in the little square part of the frame. But it turned into this peachy kind of colour. So at the beginning I thought I will just go with it, see how we go. And then halfway through I was like, no, I really don't like this at all. So I got a pink Posca pen instead to cover it up. It did take a few coats, but I think it looks really good. Here are our little hearts that I've made. And we're just going to add little white details to them to give it a little cute effect. And now I'm sketching out a rainbow design to go on the frame. And I also made a butterfly as well. I'm using my two lark paint markers to use this because Posca pens would just make it look messy and I'd get the paint everywhere. <laughs> So I used these thin ones instead, which were kind of hard to use on the frame because you would like use them on, like the paint would just come off, like the pink part would just come off. And like as I had to keep pushing it down for the paint to come out. But I got it done in the end of it. I am painting Little Butterfly, which is really cute. This is like my first first store makeover video which I found this really fun to do so I'm hopefully going to do more of these in the future. Now I'm just adding little white stars and little white details to it. I thought the background looked a bit plain so I tried to add these pink things that didn't work, gold bits didn't work so I just went with adding clouds instead which I should have done this in the first place. Here is the finished painted frame, so I've just finished it off all together. I'm going to add a coat of glossy Mod Podge just to give it a shiny effect and to make it look more outstanding. So that's done, we now have our final finished frame. Overall, I'm really happy how this turned out. The butterfly and the rainbows look so cute and adorable. And I just love the colours of it and everything, but we're not finished. I decided that I'm going to make some key changes for my keys. One that says front and one that says back for both of the keys for my doors. So I decided to make kind of a little keychain charm thing. I don't really know what to call this, but I just took some like flat beads and little gold beads. For the keychains we'll be using. And also made these little butterfly things from Cricut, which are really cute. So I'm just using the thing for Cricut, the laminated thing, and just, you know, using that to transfer the sticker thing onto the clear keychain. And I thought this would be nice at first, but I, I give it to us at the very end. But I'm just doing the exact same thing for the bag. Now 
started tying our little charms onto our keychains and here's how they look here's the before and here's the after hopefully we can all agree that mine looks much better than the original i really like this piece so much i just love the design and also the little keychain things are just so cute definitely one of my favorite things i've made so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you like please let me know and i will see you all in the next video for more art and more creative things bye